Good evening, YouTubers. T squared, T squared talk. So tonight I'm going to be cooking up a steak um, with a little bit of onions and peppers on the side. I figured I'd walk you guys through how to cook the perfect steak on the stove. Um, one of the most important things is when you pull the steak out, uh, pull it out about 20 minutes prior. You don't want the steak to be cold in the middle and then the outside be a little warmer. You're going to basically overcook the outside before you cook up the inside. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut up this onion, half this onion, throw these mushrooms in. I've already got my pan heated up, got some hot oil going in there, and uh, we'll get started. So the first thing I did was dumped in the onions and the mushrooms. I cut up my onion. I only used about a half an onion. Um, I want to get those kind of golden brown first. So I got those in there with a little olive oil. Constantly try to keep stirring it, and I keep my heat on medium. That way I can kind of get it get it really good and brown and seasoned. Now one thing too to note, um, before you put your steak in here, make sure your onions and mushrooms are already cooked up. That way it'll carry some of that flavor over to the steak. Also, you're going to want to season your steak before you throw it in. Um, that way that seasoning can cook right in there. Now for seasoning up my steak, I'm going to use some pink Himalayan sea salt. Uh, pink Himalayan salt, some crushed up, fresh crushed up garlic and peppers. And I'm also going to use some of this McCormick's Montreal Steak Seasoning. This stuff is really good. As you can tell, I use the heck out of it. Um, there's really no better seasoning for a steak than this stuff. So I'm going to get this seasoned up while I'm golden up these onions and mushrooms. And I'll be right back. Now one thing to know, I am using a cast iron skillet with olive oil. Towards the end, um, after I put my steak on, I will add a little bit of real butter. Um, that will basically give a little more flavor to the steak. So the steak's all seasoned up and ready to go. I'm just waiting on these mushrooms and onions to golden up a little bit more. Um, and then we'll throw that steak in there. Now once you throw that on, um, you want it to come out to a nice golden color. This is, I'm telling you, it's going to be delicious. You can see that the onions are already kind of browned up a little bit. And you want to put your steak to the middle. I like to put my mushrooms and, and onions around the edge. That way that flavor will kind of seek into it. So leave that on there for a couple minutes and I'll be right back. And as you can see, right off when you put it on, it's going to cook up fairly quick. Um, I, I like mine medium rare. So, but you can see right there, it's already starting to come up with a nice coloring. We're going to give it a, a little bit and it's going to be golden. Oh man, it's going to be good. Okay, so it's been about two and a half minutes. When you throw your butter on, I like to throw it on top of the steak. That way it'll pretty much melt over the steak and and give it some good really good flavor it's going to melt here in a couple minutes and uh that butter is just going to seep right into the steak and that's real butter if you're going to do that i recommend you use real butter not margarine so this is the butter that i like to use um but as long as it's real butter it's going to have some great flavor to it now one other uh, thing important to kind of note, uh, a lot of people get nervous doing onions and mushrooms in the pan with the steak. You want to make sure that you start with the onions and the mushrooms because they're going to take a little longer to cook than the steak. Steak literally doesn't take long at all if you've got your heat on medium. Uh, your pan was already super hot. So. so there it is guys. Um ready uh, this looks delicious i'm gonna i'm gonna dig in here in a few minutes i'm gonna let it rest for about two minutes on the plate just to kind of cool off before i start cutting into it and that's dinner i thank you guys for watching i hope this helped if you've never cooked steak on the stove before or you're just not really into cooking this is super easy to do um literally you got to give it a try and i hope to see you guys again on t-square talk take care guys thanks for watching